week four of the artist book P has started is coming to an end. Thank goodness I'm a little bit overdone with this. We will be going through it along with a few other things here. Let me get us on the screen. There we go. There Good we are. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, along with, let me just do the little intro thing here. We're going to put the final touches. Final. Final touches. Actually, I don't know that there's going to be much. There might be a little bit there. In oh, your book, in your pe in the this thing. Yes. There are, gonna... there are pages in there that they've never seen. Well, right, but I don't know if she's going to do anything else to it. Oh, I will. I will. Well, oh, it's available. Mariah puts them on not... the shelf and I can't find them, then I don't do anything. Anyway, so we have that. Then we have, we can flip through the other little books if you want, but I think mainly I'm just going to kind of show you guys. Because you've already seen, well, it's just more of the same. It's different pages, and I, I have come up with some new, I've been using butters more. And then we're going to do the um, additional, uh, or start, our scroll, our spooky scroll for the hashtag Makers Creative Collab with all of our other friends that are doing that. I wish I had the list, but here we go. I'm going to try to do this by memory. Lisa at Sirius Hecka. Judy P at Judy P's Crafty. Oh, hello. I see Christy in there. Hold on one second. Um, Carrie from Carrie Gibson Art. We have the two ladies, Sharon and Marianne, from the um, Happy Paper People. We have Sonia, who is new, and I think her channel is just Sonia. I can't remember Sonia's last name. It just escaped me. Uh, I know it starts... Isn't it S? I think it's her last name starts with an S. And then we have Felicia from Where Begging Meets Crafting. Um, who else? Is Peg it? at Two Old Crows. I think that's everyone. Is Anne? No. Well, no. they they participate in the in the group, but I'm talking about like the oh the, the YouTubers spe specifically. Yes. Yes, the YouTubers. Uh -huh. Um. So I apologize if I did miss anybody on our list I guess I could look at it real quick but anyway we got to get to the giveaway so let me know that you're here if you've done all the things that you needed to do that's how you made it on the list yes and I've added some more things to the giveaway too. well we have a special little giveaway thing too above and beyond the three that we are going to choose and the thing is is you can pick remember if if you want the little characters that's great awesome I will cut a new set for you, or you can pick one of the 5x7 or 4x8, just one stencil that you would like. Um, so let's do that real quick. I even have a little screen, so let's see. I'm going to click over on it, and then I'm going to click here. Can they see that twirly thing? Hold on. Oh, they're going to. And I already have the names and everything in there. Look at me being, you know. Like. Organized. We had a new person I wanted to say. Oh, hello. yes. Okay, let's say Is good morning to everybody real quick. Isabella. Uh, actually, Isabella's not necessarily new. You know, she, we have an Isabella. Yeah, she knows that. We've actually sent Isabella things. Oh. She won the Instagram thing a couple weeks ago. Oh, I don't ago. know about Remember this when Instagram I did the Instagram thing. Yeah, she does. I don't really involve her in that. No, I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I do look at it sometimes, but yes. I'm pretty much, Facebook is about all I can handle. <laughs> There you go. Christy's with us this morning. Did you see that? Yes, she is. Hi, Good morning, Christy. Anne and everybody. Anne, we've used the tea bags. We're very excited. Oh, yes, we are. Um, all right, so let's do this giveaway thing. Okay. We're going to pick three. Uh, if you are not here in the chat right now, at this very moment, we're skipping it, and we're going to pick somebody that is here. I made that executive decision last week. Snooze, you lose. You snooze, you lose. Okay, i got to switch cameras because i got to go to... I think this one, and then I can go to my... Oh, maybe I put it on your side. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Display. You want that one on. Awesome. Look at that. It looks wow. like a weird... I know. Yeah. So here, we're going to go kind of like that. I'm going to do a little peek over the side. Oh, that's probably really horrible, but let's hurry up and just get this done. and Spin the wheel. Spin oh, the wheel. Oh, my spin goodness. <laughs> that almost makes me... Yeah, it's a little... Whew. Lisa Jacob, is she here? Are you here, Lisa Jacob? Lisa. If you aren't, I'm spinning the wheel again. We're picking again, and I'm removing her from the list. I don't see her. I don't either. That makes me a little sad because Lisa's always really good, but I, I think she has a hard time making it to the last, but that's the rules. 
Okay. Let's see. Remove all instances. Okay. We're spinning again. Oh, Judy P. <laughs> Did she get up? Are, Judy P, are you here? Oh, boy. She's going to be so mad. Judy. She needs to hurry. You know. Oh, Felicia's here. Lori B's here. All right, well, um, I'll tell you what, for you guys being here, I'm going to just add a couple more. Um, Lori B's, did I put Lori B on here? I think she is. But you know what? Since you guys are here, we're going to add you guys in, Lori B. And we're going to put Felicia, Felicia in there. And let's spin that wheel. All righty. Well, we're kind of a, we need to get this going. <laughs> Who knew this was going to be forever? Sandy R. Sandy, are you with us? Uh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these people are going to be so irked. All right. There we go. At some point in time, we're going to hit somebody that's actually here in the live stream. If you make that a little smaller, I can keep checking over here. Man, it really wanted Judy P to win. All right, well, I'm going to say Judy P. Tell you what, since it went into, I need to remove her instances. I'm going to run that again. Let's see here. The wheel is awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Ann. All right. There we go. <laughs> Finally, we got our winner. Woo! All right, now I'm going to remove you, but Ann, you're our winner. Chicken dinner. Let's get us two more. Lisa, serious heck of looky there. Winner number two. <laughs> All right, there we go. Removed her. And who's our winner number three? Is Leslie with us this morning? I know she hasn't been feeling all that great. Leslie, are you here? Oh, she's going to be really... A, oh, a, she is. She is right there. All right, Leslie's with us. Fantastic. All right, so our winners are Ann Lover, Lisa, and Leslie. Fantastic. Congratulations. Now, over in, um, just either in chat or whatever you guys want to do, just let me... I know that is horrible. Let me get off of that. There we go. Um, now we can see the little journals. And I'm just going to put this over on P so she can talk to y'all. And then we can look yes, at these. But yeah, just let us know over there on um, try and see all either, either in the group or whatever. You know how to contact us. And let me know if you want the characters or any particular... 5 by 7 or 4 by 8 stencil. Oh. There we go. So there you go. You guys are very, very welcome. And I will, um, at some point, you know, pull out. I, I did, you see the journals over there on the other side of Mariah? Yeah, I don't want to turn it too far that way because then you get all the, you know, mess Yeah, I know. Away. We, we do not want. We don't talk about that. We, yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Izzy has a large swath of real estate in it. PM seems, artist it grows. Studio. Yeah, it, it's it is a growth. Okay, so would you guys like to go through these first or the big one? Let us know in the chat. I'm kind of leaning over and looking. Cause... Oh, the book vandal shop is here. Oh, Dawn. That's Dawn. Dawn. That's yeah, Lisa's friend Dawn. Lisa's. Hello, Dawn. Uh, Anne says definitely characters. She wants characters. Oh, for her st oh, okay. stencils. Good choice. Good choice. Well, and I'm just warning you. They still. I, I mean, I'm gonna do another round of oh, cleanup I'm, on them. Yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> but, really. Uh, they still still do. There's a couple of flapping noses and um, wonky eyeballs. Wonky eyeballs. <laughs> but um, for the most part, if you're very careful, you you can avoid that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the Christy big one. Christy wants the big one. All right. You guys kind of know. I mean, these are the, the prints and the things from the last, you know, thank God, from forever. <laughs> that we have. Oh, you have to show the one with Izzy's stencil. Oh, there, look. 
Yeah, and see, that's so cool because I used it to make this little... <laughs> Can you believe she made this thing? I'm like, I just, I don't know. It's like she was channeling her inner Izzy or... I know. I'll tell you what. And she she's she comes up here and she she creates with us. Yeah. And makes specific things and she expects them okay. to show up. Well, and show that. Isn't that thing awesome? I tell you what, give that girl some slick paint and she can make some things happen. I tell you though, she'll bring it to you and it's kind of like oozing off the page and you're like, oh god, okay, let's figure and, out and where it to does, put that. It's not an instant dryer either. It takes a days a while. Yes. Okay, so we have the sorry sit out here, and I'm going to move away from your head. Now, you have to read the chat because I can't really read it from um, over there. Julie said that's awesome. I think she's referring to Izzy's art. Yeah, probably. Izzy's stencil is awesome. I know. I, I really think that it is. And we have uh, the stars that I, I've used a couple of times. I don't know that I have those listed in the shop yet because I was going to make kind of like a little ATC set. They need a little work still, too. Yeah, because they have some floppy parts, and, and they bleed throughs. And, you know, that's always... But maybe for Valentine's Day, because it is, um, which isn't that far away. I mean, I know it's months, but it's really not. I mean, before we know it, it'll be... <laughs> yeah, for sure. It take me that long to get it all worked out. But anyway, okay. So, hey, while you guys are here, give us a thumbs up in the in the uh, on the video that always helps us we really do appreciate it um all that if you are watching the replay we also very much appreciate the thumbs up in the on the video and subscribe if you haven't already there you go there you go and that business is done and i have not received judy's signature yet but she <laughs> is rest she's gonna be so mad it, she, was one of the she is gonna be so mad um it will be on there as soon as it, I have not, I have not sealed it yet. Oh, and Sharon, you came in late. We actually picked your name, but you weren't here. <gasps> oh, good morning. Okay, so you guys have seen the cover. We, 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 co we covered the cover last week. <laughs> and says I have floppy parts and wonky eyes too. Me too. Although, That's probably why it doesn't bother me very much. That's right. It's, it's a very, <laughs> you know, if you're over 40. <laughs> Kind of set of stencils. <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah, you've got... What is with some of these curly little... I don't know. They're just... It's the humidity. Wild hair today. I would like everyone... Remember last week when I was like, oh, yeah, that's not right, is it? <laughs> that didn't work. This is the fix. So really all I did is take... Um, I, I did the exact same thing I did for the other pages where, you know, we had the little strip... Which I guess if I had one of those, that would probably help with it. Yes, the visualization, the visualization process. I've worked on tags. So I had these. Now this one obviously is a little bit of a wonky one, but it gives, for demonstration purposes, I believe this gets you there. Because um, see, this was too long. We really needed you, yeah. Christy. Yeah. <laughs> now you got to read out the comments, do you? Oh, sorry. And not just, you know. It, it helps uh, with I, the person hit, over here. I hit the snooze. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those so, are dangerous things. Yep. All I did is I put it on both sides. And then I had to kind oh. of measure it up. You see that it's not exactly like exact. But that's, you know, is what it is. Fran on the Edge has joined us. Hello, Fran. And then here's the one that we did last week. And we taped it up. Um, remember we said that we were going to do this one? We did. Looky there. Even put, check this out. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it in the camera. You can see it. It looks good. That's a rubby This is on. something that I'm working on. Because there's these products that you can print. It's just, they aren't exactly the most user friendly. Like, you, you kind of have to be extremely patient. <laughs> and They're not in my purview. They're not like the rub-ons commercially made. Like, that have the little things and the that it's not really that they call it that but it's not that yes it's not that it's not we've did this page that one was already done we had done this one and showed you guys that last week that one's done and you need to show the backs of those because the, i think the, the backs didn't i write on those oh these i don't know i didn't know that oh yes that's right so that was that part was done alicia did you see that one i used your idea with the pronunciation thing i thought it looked so cool and there's some of that cool tape from um, lisa 
but it's just information. Jack-o-lantern info. You know, on the jack-o-lantern. Oh, and you added a little bit of stripey stuff to them. I did, and I added the strip on the sides there. Oh, that's good. Yeah. See, it's like she knows what she's doing. And I put a strip <laughs> on the other side of that one. So it matched up the opposite direction. Look at you. All right. Okay. Get that guy back in there. What's patient? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I decided that this thing needed to become part of the um, help it hold it down. So it was cool that I didn't glue this all the way down. So I'll, I'll get to that here in just a second. But did a little bit more work to the tags and such. Um, you need to pull that. P did some work there. She filled in the little info here. There you go. According to Hebrew folk folklore. About cats, right? Not about cats. No, that yeah. vampire cat named yeah. El Lilith. Lilith. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she 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 was a washer. She was See? one washer, of the first um, suffragettes. Cut out some cats. Yeah, uns that we only. I think there were only four cats that survived. <laughs> so here's the, the thing: the rest have missing parts. Well. This was one of those things where it's like, all right, well, it should work, but it didn't work. Um, the black mixed media <laughs> paper is a bit heavy for the Cricut. Plus, I think just due to its how, how it's made, it kind of balls up whenever it's getting cut. It's very fibrous. And we've had this problem with um, other papers, too. So it's not really about the thickness of it. It really is more about composition. Composition, And, and so, because it cuts through, but it'll hit a spot every once in a while. It kind of fluffs up, and then it pulls and then causes problems with the cutting. So just something to kind of keep in mind. This oh, is thank you, Sharon. I don't know what she said. That's so stinking cool. I think she's talking about the, um, are you talk referring to the cats? Yeah, we, we need more detail because, remember, there's a delay. So we want to make sure that we're, <laughs> we know <laughs> what's Alicia, cool. <laughs> so Alicia said she loves the pumpkin. Thank you, Alicia. I worked long and hard on that. She pumpkin. did. And then, here, this is hilarious. So I guess she didn't like the thing. So I was like, all right, well, that's one that's, way to get that's at That's one it. of Lisa's cats, isn't it? Great. <laughs> she sharpied it. I sharpied it. There. <laughs> I didn't like that because it sort of disappeared with the... I did not mind that. I, I just, love the puzzle background. I think it looks very yeah. Egyptian. And then she did some work over on this side. I don't know what's catching or gooed up there. I think you kind of had a goo go, uh, glue. No, it's catching on that goo. tape in the... <gasps> oh, it is. You need to talk about that. Oh, so they need... That might need a bit of work. work. I see. Yeah. I think probably what a good idea here would be is coming in with maybe just a black simple strip and gluing it down. So it has like a little shelf that stops it from pushing the, the fabric yes. up. I think that would be a really good fix and, and, and pretty minimal as far as um, visual. I mean, cause see it has this. So if I just run yeah. a little strip. Right under its skirt. Right under the skirt there. Kind of like a garter belt. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to hold up the socks. <laughs> Then uh, that that will work. We trimmed the lace because there was much discussion about how that was interfering with her cat situation. Yes. Well, he put he kind of centered him up. I'm a little surprised about that. I wanted her to do a little bit bigger of a cat and wrap the tail around, but she didn't like that idea. She being P. And you know. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Hey, did you did you look at the back of that one? I just that one. Oh yeah, that that yeah. one is. Isn't that cool? These are really great. I, I very much applaud your gel printing skills on these. Thank you. And Thank those you. are fun facts about witches and cats. Witches and cats. And all that. And all that. Alrighty, moving right, right along here, y'all. Oh, and I did cite the author of that particular article because it was a very well done synopsis of a lot of information. Oh, that, well, that's good. Yeah. There you go. All right. I said I went ahead and there's really nothing different about this than last week other than I had decided that that was awesome to hold that down because I was like, all right, we, we need something. This is too floppy. But look and at that. It was floppy. Okay. All right. Now we're getting into the pages. I love each of the cat 
<laughs> situations. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> all the details are incredible. Thank you, Anne. Look at that. I love all that texture. I know. I do, too. I just... I love the way you made part of the house move, too. Well, that was totally Mariah. Yeah, she didn't really any, care. Anything, any moving parts oh, yeah. are totally Mariah. There, there's the ghosty. Now, I made the ghosty. It, says it, it flips and it flips. <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to be a mummy. <laughs> he kind of looks more skeleton-y, especially he, since he's sort of at a grave. But, you know, he could be, you know, a mummy zombie. I could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're doing all that fusion <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster fusion. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> a mummy skeleton. Yeah. So, um, a skell mum. Uh, a skelly mum. Skelly mum. <laughs> that sticks out. I never noticed that. What? Well, I, I, did, I did a bit of um, work guess. on the mad scientist over there because I didn't think he yeah. was showing up quite well enough. So, I... I Put some white in there. I added more orange to. He the just didn't seem stressed enough <laughs> to the to the to the gears, and I'm still not happy with the way this page looks with the page opposite. I love them both, but I think I need some of that blue butter on the yes. Mad Scientist page. Hey, well, you know what you can do is you can come in with the arty squiggles. And by the way, all, almost I mean all of the texture you guys see here, most of you guys that especially that are in the chat. You know, know all of this, but you know, if you happen upon this video, please Monster note. Monster mashup, it's great. Please note that these are our stencils, and they are available in our shop. And hopefully, Lisa, or one of them, um, one of our lovely moderators, I think, is Robin's. Robin's here too, isn't she? I yes, I, I thought. Yeah. Um, yes, way, way early. But yeah, drop in our shop either over on our website or Etsy. Um, I know Lisa. I love that pop of blue too. Yeah, the blue. She's so in love with the blue. I really, I, and it just works so well on that little spider. You should come in with the arty squiggles, and kind of do a little bit of this in your area here with arty squiggles and the stencil butter. I'll take that into consideration. Oh well, geez, thank you. <laughs> now so, I this this page this makes me I so think. angry because this is supposed to be this way, but she handed it to me the wrong way. I, I like that way, and I would really like, because mm -hmm. I'm going to do that, that, this is what I say, this page is not, this spread is not finished. No. Some, because I yeah. want to put, I've got to make some tags, or tag, to go on the opposite page that talks about uh, Mary Shelley. Yeah. Who crafted the first novel, Frankenstein. I think another. And she was uh, kind of a wild woman. I think another envelope over here, maybe even in that vellum, would be, uh, with magnets. Yes, so would be you, really you nice. Can see would, the background as well. Right, because that would repeat this whole envelope thing that we kind of have going on some of the other pages. Okay. Plus, then a great way to add information regarding Frankenstein and his creation. Yes, and the, the creator of the creator. <laughs> yes. I like that whole idea. And then you guys saw, um, we, we did the actual frame a few weeks ago, right? Because that was two two streams ago. Yes. Of I'm the sorry, I'm not reading. metallic, the pearly, fine tech watercolor. Well, sort Heather is with us. She says, slide some gears over. I, I think that that might. Oh, you like that gear idea better on it? Oh, wait. Whoop. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Doing the gears over it rather than arty squiggles. Well, I've also got another stencil that um, might work. Scribbles and might be a good one. Scribbles might, but also I was thinking be like, you know, maybe going in and touching up some of the spots on the gears with, with the that blue. blue. Yeah, because I think if you do just bring a little, like it doesn't have to be a whole heck of a lot. No. Then. But I think the scribbles would be neat because it would be almost like, you know, crazy writing. Mm -hmm. The mad scientist. Anyway, there we go. Okay, yes. move it along. Um, Did I miss the bit about scrolls? No, Fran, we haven't made it to that yet. That's the end. That's at the end. Yes. So, this page was already had already been assembled. This one had not, but we kind of had the pieces and everything there. Went ahead and mounted it, put the... 
Now those are some frames that you sent, yeah. Lisa. Yeah. Okay. That have so, been texturized. Now. Now this is new. Yes. Very new. And I did. Work, we did talk about it though. We did talk about. It. I worked on the opposite page and added some things. I found my <laughs> skull. So this is one of her crazy, you know, Franken stencils, which is pretty hilarious because it follows Frankenstein, and there's a Franken stencil there. Uh, yes, and and this is a that that's not a toe tag. That is a tag that you use to list all of your valuables, and it's attached to your valuables when you go to the. Oh, is um, that what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it is. There yeah. you go. And then um, P went ahead and look at this awesome little book. So she did the little stitch binding kind of thing. Yes, I Probably did. I need to trim those. Well, I don't. I, you can always trim them. Can and I, trim I just. It? It's the whole idea of the thread. You have to read that part. Move along, Mariah. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mariah did. She. she what, do, what would you call it? She put in the hinge. Yeah, look at that work there. And I'm telling you that Mo, thank you. She'll probably watch the replay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that seam binding business because we just used the heck out of it. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. It it really it it's it's wonderful stuff. It's just the perfect width. It it's heavy enough but not so crazy heavy. Like it's just it's very perfect. flexible. Perfect but for... it, the glue doesn't seep through so much because some of that stuff is... well it does but you know when you use the art glitter glue it typically because it dries pretty rapidly yeah. but it holds okay it well. you see the little string coming out there okay now can everyone read the the word tantra actually means thread in tibetan which suggests continuous awareness look at that all in the head Oh, and did you see that skull? The lovely. Did you see that? That is just, that's a gel plate print with the alcohol ink sprayed on it. Yeah. That, that's so, that crazy technique with the creating the. And I can do that later if we, if we make yeah. it that far. If you guys want to see the that. The additions on this page. <laughs> point out. Like, she needs uh, a the stick. The X's, which. Here which were um the x's which were a boba <laughs> straw were sort of um i i can't remember oh i put some of my transparent white on there yes and then i used the um lisa's wax paper yes. i repeated that because remember this was all open last week and i just felt like it needed a bit more framing up framing up there you go X's. I, I, I'm, I'm loving the X's. And, and look, see, the size difference is so much fun to play with. And I did, when I did, the, because that one over there, this is also done on tissue paper. And uh, we are and very spray. in love with that technique. I, it, it, you should just have some made up just for, you know, chuckles and grins because you never know when you're going to need them. And it's so nice to have it already dried. Yes. And then you can apply your spray right. and make it any. Yeah. Match any it up. Match it up. All right, so we remember we glued this down, and that was kind of it. And we still had some parts to, to be done. I see P has made some. Oh, she folded the little piece that was left over, which is great. That's like a little, you know, we can put more well, information. I really, I really had. That's done with that same technique with the tissue paper. With yes, and I feel like the page opposite still needs some things, but oh, yeah. I don't know what yet, so I'm not. I, I just wait until the inspiration hits me, and I am not reading all this, guys. I'm sorry. I'm I'm watching the screen up here instead of. Reading. Well, maybe you should be just going through the, describing everything, and I can. Sit I think over there. that would be a much Fantastic. better plan. We're going to do a bit of uh, musical chairs here. A little dosy -si do. There we go. Okay. Hi guys. I think that that would be because you can still. Oh yeah, talk, I can see a on the screen. Oh good. That was. <laughs> Really? All right, here we go. All okay. right. And this is just a roll off, a rayer off piece. And I do, I do love this. I think, you know, I've been saving this print forever. 
And this is just, oh, sorry. Here, I think that's what they, th yeah. they're requesting. Now, can you, this has just totally happened. Can you see the silhouette there of the, um, but something needs to happen up here. I need to do something down here. I just don't know what yet. So I don't, I don't worry about it. Now, isn't that an absolutely lovely gel print? Would you stop trying to scoot it over oh. that way? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it should be. It doesn't seem <laughs> I don't know why, but look at this. This this is this has about five layers mm -hmm. of gel printing. Finally got it. But look at how the background goes through there. Now this was I wanted a real web here, but what we finally decided that that wasn't very conducive to put the the, the photographs in. So Mariah said, well let's just do some like. Faux webbing there. Oh, no. Now, you need to talk more about that because we totally redid the outside frame. See, these are two are stuck together. Because remember, that had the circles on it last week. And that's sort of where we oh, ended up yeah, last that's week. that's right. And I glued them down. And then we were just like, and P, after the live, she says, you know, watching it on the screen, she just really didn't like the blue washers and stuff. And it just didn't, it, feel, it felt too clunky. It was, and when you do your frame, you don't want your frame to be your emphasis. You want right. your photographs to be the emphasis. Yeah. Or artwork photographs. They're, these are like... So yeah. she just jump plated the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. And I, I mean... And I this, just... is what, this is done with that technique with the um, sprays. And it really works well with the uh, metallics. You just want it... Don't, don't linger. It dries quickly. And, I, and, and did you... Did you discuss how well that was? See, just doing that torn edge. So I had those same pieces to do the binding. And then I just tore well, it. I don't know. Can you really? I, yeah. I, you I can. love I love how Mariah gets it so it pulls. And this is probably the, the very reason paper. it does not work well in the Cricut. Exactly. Because of the way it is. It gives you that fluffy edge. Well, it's not great when you're trying to, you know, yeah. cut a... It catches on the blade. Right. And then you see... I'm not totally crazy about this as a background. I can come back and this. do what you did on this side, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing produced at PM is ever just one or it's, the other. Or, or, or finished. Or, yeah, that's true. And sometimes they like each other a little bit too well, much. well, there was some... Yeah. All right, Lisa, brace yourself. Here, yes, yeah, keep that. We'll kind of keep that one in frame for right now. But so I did a little magnet work here, and then this, these are the. Check P, that yeah, scarab P, out. P drew that. And then I did the gold heat emboss on it. I just used the marker and then I sprinkled it on there because I knew it would stick. And then just did a little. And that's a brayer off. Heat I tool. have some of that left. Isn't that marvelous? Doesn't it look sort of like tarnished brass? And then I really want you to appreciate this. I, I, we, we didn't cut this. I'll tell you what. This stuff really sticks. I don't know if it has some kind of a surface. Well, that's but, wasn't it the impasto with the mm -hmm. glass beads. Uh, can y'all see how? See that? A little bit. It's a very heavy page. It's a very heavy page. All right, here we go, Lisa. I'm, I'm going to put this over here because you've got to get the full effect. Am I in? in? And I don't necessarily have to. Whoa, I would just Lord. turn mine off. Check that out. There we go. And then flippy doodle. So I did that same... Um, torn edge with two pieces and glued it on both sides which is kind of nifty because you do see see it kind of come through you you really can i don't can you see there it? just yeah hold it's still there that's perfect but mariah did the same torn technique to mount the binding and it's i did one on either side just to really hold it because i was worried that if i just did the one it would probably come up so this this piece is, is sandwiched yes but isn't that lovely and this was created just for this. And I didn't get it exactly on. I wanted the middle of the stencil to be the same place. But it's very close. 
That was you know, tricky. That was tricky. <laughs> hey, and getting that spider off of the acetate stuff. Woo! Yeah, I, 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 uh, yeah, I'm just really happy that Mariah did that. <laughs> and this page has multiple. She's like, his legs are going the wrong way. <laughs> oh my God, give me a minute. They were, they were all going. <laughs> I was just hoping they weren't going to stick together. Yes. Here, I'm switching our coffees out. I almost drank yours. Oh, well, that wouldn't work. Okay, no. now, here is our little mad scientist. Our science page. Because remember, we turned the, because this was the science assistant, now turned lady scientist. She's off doing her own thing, ruling the world. <laughs> but we turned that, that one, so we gave her a little longer hair. And she's kind of a mix between, like, the... She has lightning bolt earrings and these are some of Izzy's stars this is a flop off from the eyes I just think it's so weird that there's that W in there I don't know it's just yeah that's a flop off from the eye eye stencil and this is Izzy's background here and you 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 must know that she was creating this at the Brian same was looking away she couldn't stand spiders we're done with the spiders <laughs> <laughs> it's a jewel spider Fran and then, so, P and Izzy do science every so often. Basically, really, all it is is Izzy <laughs> doing um, baking soda and vinegar because she... With food coloring. Boy, she's hard on the food coloring. We need to replace... We're out of red. Oh, well, because it makes pink. Yes. <laughs> we used it up the last time. <laughs> Just buy a big bottle of, like, pink, and she would be very happy. <laughs> Seriously. But, I, I, do. I did a little Photoshop work <laughs> put her in a science lab and then she made those little antenna pieces and then I used some of my foam love See the, the foam. foam used to and use that, that quite a bit when I made cards I'm trying to get it so we don't have a halo there but we thought that that was fun to go with the um our, our science lady yes and these prints were specially designed for this our woman scientist yeah she's rolling her eyes at the other scientist. Yeah. Because he's driving her crazy. Yes. <laughs> we, we should have put, it would have been great, but we had to decide if we wanted Izzy when the mad scientist or the other mad scientist, and he just seemed to go well in the other place. You know, you just got to. I, I want things. you to talk a little bit about that reverse out because you did the pink gel print and then the yeah. teal color. Did you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I did. These were specially designed for this. And then I tore it and matched it up to the picture. Yes. That was my whole, when I, I did these, I was like, yeah, that's what needs to happen there. And we have, I have about four that I pulled of prints that. Yes. Um, of various pinks and turquoises and. Such. Such. <laughs> such. Uh, yeah, and such. And see the frame? This is that, this is. And those are Izzy's tech. drawings too, the stars. Yeah, they're all, this is all Izzy's, except for the eyes, flip flop those. And of course so. Yeah. Did you do some work on that? Did you draw those lines back in? I didn't. Okay. She made it. You better draw those lines back in because, like, I had to specifically lay this out with those lines, you know, yeah. in mind. You and can still sort of see them. Oh, that's really... Uh, yeah, I think Izzy's been after that one a little. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, technically, difficulties yeah. today. But... The whole idea here is this this triangle going into this, you know, black hole here. And the eyes on this page. And this is just a brayer off and this face appeared. Oh, that would be great. If, yeah, any of you guys want to share pictures of your kids in the makers of mixed media. Kids being scientists or oh, artists. Oh, my We love that. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is sort of like, you know... Why is it coming out of her nose? It's not coming out of her nose. That well, and it's not. A, <laughs> and I don't think it's a her. I think it's like a him. And this is sort oh. of like, you know. But I wanted a relationship between the two pages. But as I was gluing them down, the relationship got. She got smushed it out. Smushed it out. I was like, you, you need to seal that baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Everybody's. Yeah. All right. Sharon says, that's spooky. Good. This is the spooky journal. And I can't tell you how many times I was about to end up putting that one page with the 
with the uh, Egyptian page. <laughs> now look at this. Is Judy to cheek show she up? Still has, I don't know. Judy's sleeping in. Well, I'm just real because this occurred because uh, we wanted the front and the back to go together and I said well you're not going to see them at the same time and Mariah said well yes, you, you are will. if you put them down you know like flat and I'm like oh yeah okay so she took her spray she can tell mm -mm. you what no no um alcohol ink markers sometimes that's what this it's... green is oh no the sprays yes that's true sorry I forgot about that as being because those were white yeah the that... brown and the green area in the center here, yeah. I'm going to use the little straw pointer. Here and here, <laughs> yes, those two areas still had off. Hadn't... Yeah, they they hadn't printed. It, it was a it was a pull with a tighten buff thing, and so and it but didn't go with this. It was fine. But that's the beauty of having those gel prints that haven't fully you know don't have paint on all of it is you can come back and use the sprays to alter it and then match whatever it is you want it to match. And look at that. I mean, it worked out brilliantly. And then the goopy edges where that Prussian blue was sort of hanging out, I just came along with two different colors of alcohol ink markers. Now, I don't know what the longevity it, is of that, but it, well, well it definitely needs we to be need sealed. Seal. Yeah, it needs sealing. Because Which would be good anyway, because the PM Artist and then we hear, and I love this. Mariah said, why did you do that? I said, I don't know. I can't tell you. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. So she wrote hers down here and then put this. I love it. Yeah, that turned out really well. I mean, I, I just think it's absolutely perfect. And it all started with Judy's skull here. And some happy mail. And some happy mail. I'm... I am extremely proud of this yes. journal. and I mean, we should. It's been over five weeks, basically. It's been a long time in the making. And I wish you could feel this because it really, I mean, it, it's. It is fun. This is a great one to touch. And, and I'll get all the pretty shots, which kind of help show the texture more so than what's visible through the video, typically. All right. So. All right. Okay. Moving along. Do you guys want to see more? Why don't you flip through some? You love talking about your gel prints over there. Why don't you grab one of your little books that we did? Oh, no, I have, I have another. She has, yes. I have enough of prints to do another one. Here, and I'll turn me back on just so you guys, I don't know. If you now, see here's, face. and this is foiling. <laughs> I don't know if you've all done foiling before, but foiling. Oop, that's not the one. <laughs> foiling can be a lot of fun. It can be very frustrating. Here we go. But I did the hearts. I foiled them. Thanks, guys. They say it's a masterpiece. Turned out so awesome. Both are blessed and have all. Thanks, Julie. That's really sweet. Yeah. Um, appreciate that. Does it Butters. have a name? Isabella wants to know. Does it have a name? We have not really given it a name. A lot of times I, we do I name really, I, I don't want it to just be... It's not about Halloween. It's about a lot of things. It's about history with uh, women and cats, and I, I'm not referring to them as witches because most of the witches were women, and they were associated with cats, and it's just, it's the whole idea, the female scientist, Ooh, Mary could, Shelley it, and Frankenstein. Well, it could be like, um, maybe it's like... Uh, like breaking through something or you know kind of myth busting in a way or you know more of the the facts about it all yes rather than just the and you know people in skulls it's the whole i love i love the tibetan idea that you know it's and and all that's written inside the journal you know the so it's ideas a, of, in a lot of ways it's more kind of a commonplace book with with the information that's in it so it's like an artist commonplace type book yeah I like that. With a little bit of a spooky theme. <laughs> now some of these, and this this is where I'm bringing in my, the butters. Isn't that lovely? I think it's almost, it almost. Oh, Christy wants us to do Ouija boards and tarot cards. I don't want to mess with those personally. <laughs> I, I don't mind the tarot cards, but, and I, I worked long and hard on this one. I don't, see, I don't love that page. I, it's just I, I need a vote. How many people think this is absolutely stunning? 
Okay, that's kind of, you know, ho-hum, ho-hum. Look at, I'm, I love I'm very that one. proud of these two together. Nemo's nodules and scribbles. Who knew? <laughs> they were such good friends. They are. And this is this is the glass through oh. puzzle. Oh. Lisa says evolution of folklore. Oh, I like, I that. like that. I like that. And this one got turned. It's my fault, not yours. Okay. It needed the circle needed to be on the outside, but that's okay. But she Let me tell you, there's there's a lot what? of pressure when these start getting punched, these, and I'm like, these two pages had to be. Th this part here had to be taken apart because it got reversed, and this one was next. To I said, no, mm -hmm. the greens have to be next to each other, and the oranges have to be next to each other. And see, this is this this is the web, the uh, ATC version of the web. And I don't know that I love these together, but um, I kind of think that the gold plays yeah, off of a little. And one, you know, and I want you to. Is orbs. That fine tech. Orbs. Orbs. Circles becoming orbs. Orbs. Remember that? Textured orbs. Textured orbs. And Carrie, there's <laughs> um, hot dogs and wings, or hot dogs and wishbones. Yes, that's that's one of Carrie's. Yeah, like it. But I think that those two. Hey, I think Is Isabel. I think that's one of the ones that Isabella really liked. Now the reason these two are together is just because they so don't go together. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. they're complementary colors. Well, they sort of are. Close enough. And I love that. I I I really you know I think I'm going to bring in some more of the shiny stuff over here. Oh. This is sort of dull. Yeah, Wait, it's very soft. Hold up a second, because what? Here's the beauty of this page off on, on P's left, right? Is that yeah? The left hand page. If you recognize the stuff in the background, that was from the demo we did with all of the pencils with yeah. the watercolor. That's what it started out as. Yeah. And you can see some of those in the background. I mean, it's it's kind of like one of those, um, like looking through water. Mm -hmm. It is, transparencies, overlays, transparent overlays. Okay. And hey, you can't go wrong. Lattice. You can't go wrong with lattice. We love lattice. And I very carefully <laughs> I love lamp. gold painted the That's a movie reference. spiral of life. I, I love that stencil so much, Gary. I can't tell you. I, yeah, so I we do. have some of Carrie's stencils mixed in here. we got to call them out and tell people. And That's um, her swirl over there on that other page. Yeah. But we love some swirls. And those have a history, too. It's one of the most ancient symbols that shows up in every culture. <clears throat> Thumbprint just keeps on giving. giving. And see, the arrows go right into the... Th <laughs> and, and this has many layers. It has had many lives. And I love this. This is the transparent uh, gel paste. Yeah, well, the impasto. Impasto. Yeah. And then over... I, I'm not sure. I think it was Brayer Offs. I'm just guessing because of the... It's either that or when I was smooshing them uh -huh. together. Lovely print on the back. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so do you guys want us to demo anything, or shall we just start with the scrolls? I, I do want to... If we have time, I would like to show how I made the trident. Because yes. I didn't even pull that out. Let's do oh, that, no. and then we can switch over to you being at your desk. Yeah. But it was pretty cool because we were able to use no here. Which way? Okay, there, there we go. <laughs> so I, and I, I mean, this out it's... on the cricket. But then she glued two or three together. I think that there's three there. And then applied the impasto glass bead mix. And you can see it's it's stiff. Yeah, hold it, it, it hold doesn't do any. Still there, crazy lady. There you go. Got a little wobble to it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh, goodness. She makes me crazy. So if you're enjoying this and you haven't already and you're new to the number one, let us know that you're here in the chat always. Like, announce yourself, say hello. Look, that's what I need, Mariah. Oh, you need another one. I can do it in black and I will demo it right now. Well, I don't. I can't. It's going to take a little bit to set it up, but yeah. Okay. Well, you go over there. I'm going to turn. Let's see. I'll leave it on that until she decides to, you know. She has everything kind of set up and chit chat with you guys and read the thing. But let's see. Let's get all the little things out of the way a bit here at the midpoint. Um, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. We love that. If you haven't had the opportunity, go ahead and give for this video the thumbs up if you do so. That is awesome. And let's see. Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists. That's where we hang out all during the week. And we love you guys to uh, come and join us over there. A lot of you that are already in the chat. Oh, hello, Uta. So good. Yeah, anybody new, let us know you're here and not just, you know, hanging out. We love that you, you know, we have people that love to lurk. That's okay, too. <laughs> um, if you are watching the replay, let us know in the comments below that you came by. Say hell, just say hi. What'd you like about the thing? If you want to see something in particular. Um, that we did like show in the book and you wanted to see more or hadn't watched the, the the previous weeks. That's cool too. We can always make a process video. We are down with that. That is for sure. Um, and we're getting better at making anywhere from 10 to 15 minute little process videos. So <laughs> yeah, we can do that. We can do it. We just want to know what you're interested in seeing. Um, that That's always fun. All right. I'm going to switch over to peace side there. Hopefully, I think I might still be in the corner. Yeah, it's a little bit big. Ooh, that's crazy. And I forgot to turn that off. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm still finding my black. What are you trying to... Well, because I want to do the, this trident in black because I, I, I can use it on the opposite page. It needs to be over there. Well, agreed, but what black are you looking for? I'm looking for my black bead. Oh, the bead paste. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, you know what? I can always paint that separate black. There you go. No worries. No man. worries. Options. Options. She's... Always options. All right, now I'm running over stuff back here. I'm running over. <laughs> she cleaned up. I did, and I just pulled out that paper to put this down, and a whole bunch of other stuff fell out. <laughs> Sometimes my cleaning... She cleaned up. <laughs> Clean, clean consists of stuffing stuff. I mean, she has a stuffy hole that I'm like, can, did you check the stuffy hole? <laughs> all right, now what this it is made from, this mold, is made from all of <laughs> all of the all of the things that have been all of these guys. So I just stacked them up and made this so that I can get some depth, some loft on my trident. There you go. Okay, you don't want to do your stacking of your trident till you get the paste on. The reason is you want it to have as much loft as is possible. And okay, just notice I've got little tabs on either end. That's because... <laughs> she needs something to... Uh, you need something to... Rather than trying to... Because if you pick at it, then it jiggles yeah. it so if you have little pull tabs it goes a little better yes. and i'm just you know i i reorganized this thing today and one should never do those kind of things sorry um <laughs> right before you're going to be oh margalo trying to find them okay i've got it lined up about as good as it's going to get next thing i'm trying to reach you. oh sharon we we can barely keep up with ours. She's just to help come help and clean hers, and I'm like, no, we we still got a lot to do here. I'm taping. We have a table that just every time I mention it, she gets fired up. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I, Mariah goes on her Napoleonic cleaning binges. <laughs> I just can't. But I just like <laughs> want to move out. <laughs> Literally move out. Oh my goodness, we kind of got a little. Oh, That's you, all right. I'm gonna have to scrape it. That's okay. It's, it's dried. It's not that ink stuff. Okay, get a goodly amount. And you do want to keep it pushed down because it, it will want to go it want, want to go to into those up. places. You know. And 
were I to do this over again, I would try to not have any falling off places that are close because they catch the paste. Oh, and you mean uh, the actual trident itself? Making, making it into the mold here, it'd be nice if it were all on the same level. And is uh, a trident the same as a pitchfork? Because really, technically, it is a pitchfork, but... We call it a trident. Isn't trident, like, for Poseidon? Yeah, it is, but this is more of a... This is... <laughs> and I don't know what that... She's got some kind of fur. I was like, wondering... I don't know what that is. <laughs> There's some... <laughs> Unidentified... Foreign matter. <laughs> In the paste. <laughs> I will save it and we, Izzy and I will look at it under her. I, I really want to get her a microscope for Christmas because I think that she would really enjoy it. Probably. I have okay, one as a kid. Okay, now this, this part here is really crucial. Okay. You know those little things that you get in the mail? Keep those. They're wonderful. <laughs> I do have a bit of blue coming off there. I'm, I'll worry about that later. Oh, on your... I was, yeah, it was on the little knife. The palette knife. Yeah. It's all right. Okay, so now we remove our tape that we've taped down. Well, Here. Sharon, sometimes it's nice. Sometimes it makes me crazy because... She doesn't do what I want her to do. <laughs> she said it must be nice to share responsibilities in, in a space with somebody. I take everything she says under consideration. I that don't is necessarily true. do it. That is also right. very true. So you want to get to this point where you can get to your trident. Or whatever. What did I do with my pokey tool here? I think you put it back. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> There you go. Very carefully. And this is this is kind of tricky. Because it's going to want to I, I will have to Oh I hope this turns out. <laughs> I have to repair that spot. That's alright. But look at it that. It is alright because all I do is I scrape off a bit of the stuff here and very carefully add it to the edge of that. And remember you can always trim off that stuff. <laughs> That's true. You should leave like kind of like how um, when they do model, um, you know, when you build models, and when they have them in those little frame things, there's always like a little tabbed bit. Well, that's what we should do is create a little tabbed bit, and then you could break it off. <laughs> yeah. Now you can see here, and I was kind of afraid of that. I tried to clean up. Well, those pointy bits we knew were going to be tricky because we just okay, know that even. See, which... this is just paper. Yeah. These are paper, so what I need is I need to have Mariah just make me some Yupo because I can't take this in and clean it out, and those points are yeah. always where it clogs up and you don't get that definition. But I think it's going to be fine for what I'm doing here. I'm just saying. If you have something that you want to keep repeating and using over and over, it probably would be a good idea to cut it out of something like Yupo or yes. whatever. Because you can actually stack and glue the Yupo, I think. I would love to stack and glue the UFO and make a, as I, I think this is kind of a cool thing. Now, here's the other thing that, and I'm not worried about cleaning this up because I think it's probably, it, it served its purpose. I, I can't do any other, I, I can't make it any better than it, it is. And I can sit here, you know, all day and kind of clean off those edges. And I, I did that, but you can see it's. It gets yeah. crammed up in the, in the little points. And you've got all of those little lines there, which I tried to glue those, but it catches on it. Oh, when you, yeah, when, when you swish it down in there, it's going to get caught on those little, wherever, you know, it has a little space there. But no worries. It served its purpose and it did good. I, I would recommend. And when you do, make sure that you cut them out and leave yourself plenty of scraping room. I was just thinking about, I wonder what happened to mine too. Heather, Heather said she'd. She thought that her children would enjoy a microscope also. She wonders where it is now. <laughs> so she could take it apart for parts. <laughs> okay, now, what I what I, I do have a plan for. Oh, oh here. you kind of, look at this. This is all the scrape-offs from, well, you're going to see in a moment. But all of these things, what I want to do with them 
is I want to mask out on the gel plate and create this really cool pattern. <laughs> with the tridents. With the tridents. <laughs> And so, you know, these are going to, and I just going to put them back and forth. Isn't that going to be cool? We could do a sea themed. That's very like a coral reef. So, no, oh, but there's the skull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a haunted sea party. And I even kept these little parts because I thought, <laughs> oh, these are, these are really pointy. Oh, goodness. You know, you, you just, you don't, don't throw things away until the very end and i even kept these little things okay I, I like the little arrow pieces yeah those are great even that's pretty good that looks, looks kind of cool yeah and these little arrowhead things here there you go keeping the parts y'all keeping the parts and you can ask mariah to to send you the parts if you so desire okay i i'm think unless anybody has any questions about that oh there's is an eye. Well, I'm not putting any of that in the shop, so. Oh. Sorry, guys. Uh, if you want your own cut file of that, of the Tridents, I will put it in the, um, I will put it in Makers for free. But you gotta be part of Makers. <laughs> if you want to be part of Makers, answer the questions. This is that, <laughs> this is butter that's coming <laughs> off here. Is that what it is? Well, that's what that blue, last... and that is what stained my board. Okay, what are we doing now? We are going to. Mo are we moving on to scrolls? Are we ready I for that? I think we're ready for scrolls. Everybody ready for scrolls? I think some of these people are going. God, could they get to scrolls? That's what <laughs> I think. Fran, that's, that's what, what I'm here Fran for. showed up for. <laughs> like, are you doing scrolls? <laughs> Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Okay, um, I'm gonna flip back over to me. Check this little kitty out. I had to build one because I have to know what I'm talking about somewhat <laughs> and, and work out the, the, the issues with things. And there were certainly some issues. There are. And even as of today, after things dried, <laughs> I was we like, have oh, some more issues. Okay. Probably need to work that out. But we have now, um, so part of the Makers, what is it? Our Makers Creative Collab. This particular one is the Spooky Scrolls. So, we have, and we're gonna use our characters because that's really, you know, they, they need some more love. And I've spent a lot of time on those little Yeah, so we're gonna use it, and we're gonna give them the love and attention they deserve because we certainly have spent a lot of time on them. But, yeah, and that's on me. <laughs> that was done last <laughs> night at, you know, the witching hour. Yes, the witching hour. And then we have more. So, so P had done, and this is why we sized them down. And this would be the set that we're going to, for those of you that won the giveaway and all that, that want the characters. Um, it is the little under three inches. So that way they fit on these three inch gel print squares. Oh, here. Carrie. I'm going to turn that over to oh. you. Now, can you please read the chat and keep up with all that? <laughs> I can, and I'm going to move this a little bit this way, and I'm going to scoot in okay, a little bit so go. that I can reach over and point at things that Fantastic. be pointed. Because not always this Mariah. Uh, yeah, so we now have... I have a pencil. <laughs> God. Uh, crazy. Sometimes she's really kind of grumpy. Anyway, okay. part of the thing was that um, each of us that, okay, we're doing the hop, and I will come back and add that description, or in the description. I need that. What do you need? A magnifying thing that flip that goes on your phone. Oh, dear goodness. Well, I have I have one that has a light on it with a little bendy arm, you know, like this. Well, and I use that. So our a person lot. that is before us is Peg over at Two Old Crows, and then Sharon is after us. So we sent things to Sharon and then Peg sent some stuff to us. <laughs> the, these are a few items. I have already, as you can see, used the gold thread over here. But we are going to kind of... I don't know what Minecraft is. What it's a, is it's Minecraft? a game. It's a game. Okay. Um, Heather has Minecraft theme junk journal, but no ephemera yet. Oh. Oh, well, some of this stuff maybe could work for that. Need a trident? <laughs> you need a trident. 
Uh, what is your... What is your wand? Oh, this is a... Isn't that a stapler? Yes, it's it? a paper, glass, metal. It marks on paper, glass, and metal. Yeah. Yes, I love these things. The only pro problem with them, that the lead in them is just really... You don't want to sharpen them too terribly sharp because I'm always... Yeah, you saw that. How yeah. she poked it and broke yeah. it. I I'm kind of heavy-handed on that. I am too. All right, so our whole idea is here's everybody that we have. We have a kitty, a pumpkin, a witch, Frank... The chick scientist, the guy scientist. Why didn't you say dude? You could have been like dude and chick. <laughs> That's what I'll put in the descriptions when I finally list them. There's a dude and there's a chick. Okay. The devil and um, a zombie. And we've kind of decided which stencils sort of kind of go with whomever. Now we are going to double up on the lattice because we feel like the cat and the witch go together. That's the general idea of where we are at at this point. You can see there have already been some, some switching ups. The, the guy scientist, we were going to do blip blop rocks, but we're going to do blip blop with, actually with the zombie. You didn't mark that one out. And then the gears with the guy scientist. We are using, of course, piece gel prints and brayer offs and things of that nature. So this is a, a little more of a cheerful yeah, it's spooky in that, you know, we got some spooky characters, but, you know, we're making it fun. Just because you look like a zombie doesn't mean you can't party. Um, there you I'll be go. happy. You heard it here. You heard it here. And then this is ultimately what each one, because we're going to make then, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why did I feel like we had night? Oh, because the eye. of the eye. And I thought we would put that on the container that houses them all. Boy, they're just spoiler alert. I don't know if we'll get to the container, but someday there might be a container. So I. Really... She's using my toilet paper rolls that <laughs> I have. This to was save. a paper towel roll. <laughs> well, I save. I'm certain I saved that then because that had to come all the way from downstairs. I'm just throwing that in because, uh -huh. you know, giving it a little bit of a... Uh, 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 yeah, hey. Because, you know, I, she said, I think we have enough of those, Mother. We do not... Judy, Judy. Hey, Judy. Judy, Sorry. oh, sweetie, baby, you are going to be so... Yeah, when you watch the replay. Angry. You, you were a winner, like, twice. You were a winner, winner, chicken dinner <laughs> two times. We'll, we'll send her something. She yeah. knows we, we'll send her something. I will send you something. But... Have you sent your signature yet? <laughs> okay, so I'm leaning over and looking at the chat here, so that way, because she doesn't catch it all, like, you know. I need that magnifying glass thing. Well, here, hold on. I'm going to do something, probably, hopefully, that doesn't mess things up too much. But, no, it's not going to do it on there. I think I can. Because, see, I have to look at it through my bottom part of my glasses, because... That's, it's just at the wrong place. I love china markers. I know, me too. And I don't know if you call these china markers. They're stay below. And it's, you can get it in all kinds of hey colors. Hey there, lady, I'm in black look at that. And white. Oh, that's slightly better. Yeah. No, over here. Oh, holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's a relief. What is a relief? Okay. okay. I've been trying to talk myself out of getting stencil butter. Oh, you shouldn't do that. But, you know, I really would. There are some definite color choices that you can do not get the frog green. It's ugly. I made it into brown. Yeah, so here's where we would go with it for sure. Like, we love this lime green because it is, almost could be it's gold, It's called too. chartreuse. Yes, the chartreuse is awesome. The turquoise is awesome. The electric blue is awesome. And the pink. I really like the pink. And so do you, so don't even, like, you know... Yeah, I use the pink. She does. But I usually try to use it with some cruddy brown color too. So it kind of well, so if mitigates. you do the if you do the pop out chat, but we're in YouTube, so we can do the pop out chat, oh. and I made it huge. So <laughs> <laughs> I think you. I think I ought to do a mad scientist journal. Seeing as I'm Frankie the mad scientist, I think you should, and you definitely need those stencils. Yes. Oh, do you have? Multi full. full glasses too. Well, no, these are 
I'm looking. I have, <laughs> she's watching you do your glasses thing. I keep telling she needs to go in and get it checked out, but I do. I all need, right. We need some. Um, we need some ideas on who to do first. So, I was thinking maybe the witch would be the next one because it's going to be you know partnered up with our kitty here, and then I can go through and show you guys sort of the steps. We're going to change some things up because obviously we've learned some things, and I can skip the. See now I don't have to do the overlay glue thing because now we already have the stencils. Um, now. Christy says, I love the foil gold with Kitty. Okay, that is the butter. The f the gold that you're seeing there is yeah, the butter. Yeah, it's, it's actually the, the green. It's just, it's just picking because, up a lot of light from the camera. But it also, I think, is because it's with the pink, it kind of neutralizes it. Yeah, and then did you see how it pulls off? And I even did the inside of the tube. I don't know if I'm going to do this on all of them. I, I don't know that... You know, is it cool that it comes off of the little tube thing? That's cool, but I don't know. I was kind of hoping you guys would have some ideas and thoughts about that. My kitty, like when it was still drying, was more malleable. And so my magnet, I really should have put it over here. So that way it hit right there. And that way it can stand up like this and still the magnet hits at that same spot. So these were some of the little technical things that you know, I knew that I was going to need to work out because I don't want to wrap it all the way around. I mean, I can, but it does wear on the textured stenciled area. Yes. And I just don't want it to be curved because I and like it sitting out like that. Those, this is the diamond paste. I think another thing would be to use the more flexible, just the black. The diamond paste? That's, what do you mean? That's the glass paste. paste. Oh, yeah. And it... It, um, it's really firm. <laughs> it's very. And the other stuff is a lot more flexible. So if you are thinking about doing this, I would highly recommend using the more flexible. Yeah, and this is the gold. So here, actually, you can see it next to each other, the difference. I was thinking I must get that gold. Yeah. If you're getting the butters, that this that chartreuse, can you show them the, the container? Yeah, I can do that. I have it right I'll here. tell you what, my allergies are just oh, driving me been crazy. Oh, it's rubble. <sighs> There's the gold, and then here's the chartreuse. Here, I'll hold that up here. So can you see the difference between the two? Here, put them next to each other. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise. Hi, Mazzy. I mean, it's not a ton. And I bet if you wanted to get real crafty, you could probably use the green to make a little bit if you mixed it mm -hmm. in with the yellow, but, you know. And I made some fantastic brown with that. <laughs> Horrible frog green. I mean, it's really well, seriously. It's Christmas green. Can it's you show green. Frankie's um, yes, bones? The bones. So that was with the the red and green and some other things mixed in too. But it is really so, now you can see it how it it shimmers when you get it really thin. It's this lovely swamp green. So it is some marvelous stuff, I must say. I just discovered that I think last week. Chartreuse right. is my favorite. What Me is, too. What is uh, what is Felicia making? Hold on. She said she made something in school. What are you using in school? Oh, she said she had those in school. Oh. Okay. So, uh, a vote from all of you guys. What character to do next? Let's let's okay. try to get chop, to some chop. of this. What are we going to do here? I mean, we got 45 minutes. I think I could get, you know, some of this kind of worked out in 45 minutes. Probably not going to do the toilet paper scroll part. We'll just work on, we'll focus on the actual little scroll ribbon. Scroll part. Yeah. Part. And, and did you mention that that's, that's tea bags? Yeah, these are the tea bags that Anne sent us. See? Yeah, all of those. And what's nifty, now I really wish I would have told you this to do the side where, but we could come back and do both sides. I suppose. I suppose. I missed what type of paper this girl. It is... Tea bags. <laughs> tea bags. Do you have some, like, that oh, aren't, not, like... Yeah. Hold on. I got it in the cabinet right back here. It, yes. It's right right behind her. She doesn't have to go downstairs. <laughs> we don't keep tea bags Which goes with cats. Yes, absolutely. They are um, almost... Well, the witches and the cats are together, and that's why they're together on that page. 
because they have a symbiotic relationship throughout history. So here they are playing, and then they, they come to. And I almost did the two, but then I was like, well, I, I wanted, you know, so th this is my next thing, this, to do the little person thing. Okay, so let's grab the witch. Where is she? I got a green one that I want. Yeah, I only have the black and white ones too, Felicia. Where's my... Yes, it's a roll of tea bags. I yeah. mean, is that not the most awesome I mean, thing? <laughs> and I think Anne posted the picture of it somewhere she, she on got Maker's. Out. I mean, this thing I, I'm imagining is about like this big. <laughs> it's, it's it's a lot of tea bags. <laughs> and I'm going to do. I have a plan too, but um, since Mariah spent a lot oh, of her very valuable my time hel helping me with my journal. Then I I didn't get to do a scroll, but I do I I'm I'm thinking about doing a scroll. All right. So our idea is that we're going to use the gold lattice with the witch and this and this, and I'm going to put this back here. And now maybe what would be cool? I don't know. So we're going to keep the little kitty over here. Oh, but these were the items that Peg had sent me that. I have to use, which technically you only have to use one, but I'm going to try to use as many as possible. And then there's this danger tape, which may, I don't, yeah, I don't I know have if that's, that laid out. I, I think I P's going to use that in hers. I am. Yeah. So this is, um, and, and I may, I thought about bringing in some of this. Oh, and there were feathers. Where did the oh, feathers I go? Love, I absolutely love the feathers. I want to tip them with the um, they butter. They end up on the box because we're going to create a box. We Look just haven't this. located the box. Look at this gel print of Pete, or, uh, of Pegs. She's a P too. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? She wrote a little note on the inside. Um, but these are the feathers, and I thought might work kind of, in, you know, with this, because I did the little gold deal. So I'm going to try to do little embellishments on each oh, one of I them. Oh, I think what would be cool is to take sequins and put sequins down the spine of the feather. Because I could even have a feather come off of her hat. I mean, she could be a fancy witch. Uh, she's got a fancy kitty. She has a fancy kitty. Like I said, you know, she's not she's not a grumpy witch. She's no. not, you know, she's, she's fashion forward, this lady. <laughs> yes, ancient Chinese scrolls are incredible. Okay. I need a back. This. Okay, she says, I was given a roll of 18,000 bags. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who these people are that you get hooked up with, Ann, but we, we need their she, address. She gets bulk, man. Now, you may have to go okay, there Robin and make says, a green. I'm feeling a bit lost. There will be lots of separate scrolls. Yes, ma'am. One for each character. That is correct. And they will be housed within a container of some that sort. will be determined at a later date. <laughs> because I have, I, I will not. I, I've done this before. I've done it a couple of times where I'm like, all right, this thing's going to fit this box. And then it does not. So, so. we're going to fit them, fit them in. Oh, that's a really know, ugly I'm sound. I'm just kind of trying to get us a little bit more light. It moved and there's, uh, yeah, that's a little better, I think. I think it is too. So now we got to choose the sort of background color for the for our tea bag our scroll part or and or this the the back side because see on the kitty i know i love those browns too <laughs> and she says it came from the facebook buy nothing group wow i need to be a member of that mariah will probably not agree with that what or you don't buy anything it's free oh geez yeah, it sounds hmm. like, oh, that sounds very dangerous. Yes, <laughs> I made one scroll ancient looking. Well, you need to post that in Makers because that, I, I really, yeah. that whole idea, I, I like that a lot. And I have lots of gel prints that will go with this. Now this is, I don't do this kind of cutting. No. And I think I may alter her a little bit. Should I do the back side of her in pink or should I go with this kind of, I just don't know that I love this together. I do not love that together but at all. What color, what spray do I need to use 
with mm. the gold lattice. I think you need to go with... Um, I mean, I could try black and even just see what that does. I think that might be really stunning. And, and if you mess it up, we'll just do it over. Okay, we Just won't start on one, one end, and then if you don't like it, you can just tear that one off. That's true. But then, oh. do I alter her a bit, and then what do I put on her backside? Because I'm just, I'm not loving that. I mean, I love that with the cat. Okay, what is the name of your book, Mighty Machine? Okay, somebody Oh, it's a Zutter. A Zutter. Yes. And it, it that probably... That came from Christy. <laughs> it, it probably does things that we don't know about. <laughs> I'm suspecting that is the case. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> we just need Christy. I mean... Yes. I, I can remember when Mariah first started off with with the um, the cutting machine. What do you call that? The then? cricket. The cricket. It was like she and Christy were on the phone all the time. And well, well, what's good? What's I'm happening? like, I don't know about this starting thing. I really I just... hate it. I love it. I hate it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm trying to keep the kitty over here, but I don't want the kitty to get sprayed with the black. Are we sure that we want to try that? I'm going to try it down here on this one. Or should I try it on the yeah, try broken? It on the, try it on the end that isn't, you know. Okay. As, as good as the other end. Can you bring me one of your awesome covered little boards so that way I don't get this all gooked up? And, I absolutely will do that. I mean, normally in the evenings I would just get this gooked up, but I'm going to try to keep it sort of clean here so you guys can see what's going on a little bit better. Here's the gooked up. Oh, that board's not gooked up. You can't have that one. <laughs> she won't give me a clean board. It's well, what's the point of that? <laughs> I'm saving yeah. that board I keep it, it, <laughs> for special spraying occasion. <laughs> if you want, you can put this back behind it. A yeah, that bit. might help. Just in case here. I don't want to get it on the kitty. I'd be real sad. <laughs> okay. And then come into the sponge boat. There's my little blacky sponge. There it is dab that around. Now this is, um, somebody was asked a question, I think it was Julie, in, in about uh, resist. Well you can see this stuff is a good resist gonna, if you won't go with color. I'm going to mix it a little bit with your wonky crazy gray, don't even ask me. I mean this is a mixture of all sorts of things. I just take the extra bottles when they're empty and I'm, I make them into something else. But one of the things I like doing, especially with the eyes ink sprays, is mixing it a little bit with something like Lindy's or something that has a little more water. It helps sort of spread it out. Well, I, I'm really liking this. I, the is contrast is witchy? fabulous. Now, put your where's your witch? And what's crazy is, I noticed this with the kitty, that Anna's, even though this is pretty um, thin... You do kind of have to push it through to the back. Oh. Unless you want that effect, but loving this. Yeah? Keep going? Yes, I think so. Everybody? Keep going. Yes, love it. Julie loves it. All right. And look how good you are now. Well, I'll tell you what. It was not, it wasn't painless. What's that? The whole learning curve on the cricket, because I oh. remember. Oh, there were many. Oh, it's like. Oh, many days when we were saying ugly things to the cricket. And I really could have done a better job, but I had to... On some of the others, I waited until the other half half dried before I put it down. But on that one, I just went ahead and did it. Okay. So I like a little bit of the splotchiness, but I think um, with the black I'm gonna try to get less a little less of it because I think it will be pretty apparent once this dries um why I'm pushing it through like that I see Sharon says she loves the black I do too I okay. really think it's a good choice and it's not going to fight it's not going to fight with our green witch either where if we had a color that yeah. might not be, be true yeah and we do want this more of a background rather than this is not and it's great for the theme, very true. Well, and those feathers might go really well with this too. Okay, Sharon, that was $40 on the Zutter. Is that what that was, what that statement was in reference to? I think Lisa found hers on eBay. So you may wanna, you know, look around and, or even on um, Facebook Market. Sharon says, I rarely use mine and feel guilty. Well, I'll tell you, you know, I, 
The reason I like them even for like, if I'm going to use them as a sketchbook type thing is they open flat. Yes. Whereas if you go in with some of the binding stuff, it doesn't go flat. And this is the other reason why we like accordion style journals too. Yes. My mind is going wild through an <coughs> antique colors doing this. Oh. <laughs> All right, just kind of wiping off because I don't want that. Um, I know that stuff like, will uh, the the icing sprays. If you leave that on top, it probably will like stay because it stays once. It's... Yeah, you want to buff buff it off a bit, and that's what I was talking about too, Julie, when we we're talking about using the impasto as a resist. If you use any of your well, she was talking about a um, uh, gel gloss medium, but basically yes. same thing. Yeah, same I mean it's it's, it's in the family. It is. And um, I, like I just I like the impasto because it has a lot more body and it doesn't seem to have the seepage. Oh, I, I'm loving that background there. Yeah. Oh, the. Darn it. I should have given you a piece of paper. Because look at that. Isn't that <laughs> well, wonderful? Well, you didn't want to give me anything I'll good. just cut it off the board. <laughs> I, I'm Oh, I love that. It does look good. <laughs> it looks very good. Now, could you not do anything else to it? Could I have it back? Well, Yeah. Here, I'll do that, and you can have that. Oh, look at that. Now, we need to discuss the witch a bit further while that dries, and, and what now goes on the backside of her. Because again, I, think you need to, I don't I think you need to bump her up. You need to spray her with some more. Oh, the green, green. Green. Green, green. And I think what I'm gonna do is spray her from the back, so it pushes through. Because I think she's a little bit anemic. She is. Yeah, okay, so. Really love the black behind the gold. Yes, I mean, that is, that's wonderful. Wonderful contrast. They are the same, Julie. Uh, what is it, the same? I don't know. Oh, is that her in a sense? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, there they, we go. They perform the same function. Now, I could hit it with a little spray of the, the gold. The I think you should let that dry because that's going to look different in just a moment. But don't, yeah, can you just set it aside and we don't have to... Look at that wonderful circle that it made there. Those are the kind of things that I am like, oh my God, that is so wonderful. Yes, she does. And a lot of things in in those, in my little, you know, flip through book. I'm not listening to her. She isn't listening. Where's my sparkly gold stuff? Impasto, yes. I'll tell you what, you should be talking to Judy. Judy, can you... Yeah, Judy can, go check out Judy's channel if you, one of you guys wants to drop her channel in there. Um, she does fabulous things with impasto. Yes. I mean, I, I, I'm serious. It just blows my mind. And I made a whole journal. See, using her subtle. Cup as cup. But I wanted it on top because then it'll it'll hit into that um, into the paste. Oh, yeah, okay. See, my ink's coming through from the back. The back, so okay, okay. There's, gonna, there's a slight layer, obviously, of the gel-printed circle. Yes. So there's a little barrier there, but it, you can see it's starting to kind of, um, it separates it out. The black and the gold does look yeah. Egyptian. But I, I, I'm digging that. I think that'll be pretty nifty. Okay, so... I, what, what is the back side of her going to be? So see, I put a pink one on. Yes, Judy P. Judy P's art crafty art. Um, Judy P's crafty journeys. Crafty journeys. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have such a hard time with that. Oh, I just I can't even say C T W or T W C or the Crafters Workshop. The Crafters Workshop. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking. P V C. PCB, I don't know. One of those. Okay, I'm waiting for Zutter in mail, and uh -huh. it's my cricket collecting dust. <laughs> I know. I I just, yeah, I have, it, it would definitely be, it I, would have webs on it if I yeah. were running it. And it did sit for a long time until we started doing stencils and things of like that. Well, you know, when we were doing cards, we cut out a lot of little, the circles, the washers that we make, we do that on the cricket. Yes. Ooh, look at me. I'm getting all right you, you i need an answer on the, what the back side of the witch what are we doing i don't know um i i don't like that but it could 
I could spray it with the yellow yellow and that might be what we need. Oh, thank you, Robin, for putting that in. Appreciate it very much. Uh, what's the difference on the Zetter? I really, I don't have a comparison basis. Perhaps yeah, someone we else know can speak this. to that. Yeah, we, we only know about the Zetter. Only know about the Zetter. And that's because of Christy. She sent it to us. Yes. I hope she doesn't want it back. Because yes, we really indeed. do like it. I, I can't. Uh, I've go. ordered a three or four different packages of the, the binding. All right. I really need you to give me some focus on this backside. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. What do we want, folks? Let's, uh, the backside of the circle needs to be. Yeah. See, I got the pink for the kitty. Which well, where's your, where's your other color choices? Where's, where's all, where are all those little? So, yes. Bust them out, baby. I have a brother scan and cut that is perpetually lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's just like, you know. Oh. That might. Now, that was supposed to be for the pumpkin, but I'm kind of loving that. And if we think about that with the feathers. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I don't think this is going with the kitty as well as I wanted, but that, that does not have to be a complete driving force. I'm I don't willing to let that go. And I don't think it matters. No. I mean, you know. The kitty's got her own personality. Carrie says, I love my silhouette. Well, you know, we had one and we sent it back. Yeah, I did not love the silhouette. We um, did not get along. It was extremely noisy, number one. Yeah, I can't stand the sound. And it's it. right next to Mariah's computer downstairs, so. Yeah. Yeah, and it. it I don't know. It just did not work with what we had set up software-wise. Now, I do have some circles. I that cut you everything gave me. by hand. Still, machines are pricey. Hey, you know what? Um, I think hand cutting is just fine, and I we did it a whole lot of years before we ever had any of those things. That's but true. what's lovely about them is if you're doing multiples of yes. anything, like say the circles. Yeah, and because right. circles God are so hard to cut. Circle for and Carrie says it is very noisy. If you have another room to put it into, yeah. I would highly recommend it. But, <laughs> it needs uh, quarantining. <laughs> it needs a pad. It needs some padded room. Yeah. Oh, well, now look. What about that blue thing there that looks like uh, the moon? That does not... How, how are we... Although, I guess we could bring some blue elements in. Hey, come on, everybody. Don't you think that, you know, witches <laughs> and brooms and... Look, Moons. there's a little bit of that coppery stuff showing up in that circle. Hold that down there next to the green wedge. Oh, goodness, lady. Well, now, I, I can spray that with the green, and it'll have green in it as well. I think that would be lovely. Try it. Okay, I'm going to cut it out. Okay. And you realize this is a double side. Oh, but that yeah. side's poop. Yeah, don't, that side's yeah, terrible. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I wish you'd leave me that kind of option all the time. <laughs> well, you know, I want a red Porsche. No, you don't. I don't. I just like to say that. I, I have a hard time cutting, in, in a, especially in a circle. One of my eyes has a, a dip down in it, and I, I don't always see what's really there. I see. <laughs> I don't always see what's really there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you cut your stencils with if you don't have a silhouette? Well, I think there are all kinds of options. They have that heat thing that you can use. Yes, which I don't... With the plastic paper, which I don't know about Carrie that. used to do that. And she probably still does with certain ones. I yeah, don't know. Car Carrie, talk about that. Yeah, Carrie's the one that says, I used a pyro... There you go. Pyrography tool to burn stencils before I got the silhouette. Yes, I love that dark blue. Now, I don't know how well this is going to take since you did God, do both sides. Fran voted for the dark blue moon. Yes. <laughs> she says don't spray it. Don't but she's not going to listen to that. I can tell you that right right now. Don't spray it. Well, what about at least with the gray color? Yeah, okay. To color in the white spots? Yeah, I just don't like the white. You know that. Come on, people. She's making me some good, good background stuff there. Yeah, you can go ahead and go off the edge, Amber. <laughs> oh, there you go. I like that. Do you like that? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? That's it's almost like clouds across the moon kind of thing. I oh, think it's yeah. really... 
Oh, this chair is making me nuts. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm oiling it today. And besides that, the fact is, is you don't see both of the sides together. And look at how good that looks with the black that and gold. That really does. So now we need to find a blueprint. I'm gonna put this back. I really want to use this one for the pumpkin. I'm really I think, I think you should. For the pumpkin. And if all else fails, I can, I can go. Ahead. Since you're not gonna be doing the toilet paper roll anyway. I can match you up a gel plate okay. print that to will be wrap. F P. Yeah, so that's what we're talking about is like, because hopefully, I mean, I want some kind of at least consistency of how we do the color thing. So ideally, I would like the tube to probably match, well, actually this one. I, I actually have some prints that I think maybe are in that. I just think it would Hera be was, fun if the... Hera was gasping when you sprayed on that. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, I do too. Sometimes but, best just to turn away. <laughs> I, I just... Um, okay, Carrie says, I did worry about the plastic fumes, though, and the edges would sometimes be a little rough. Yeah. It, where it kind of curls up or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, that, that's where You know, I, they do have um, those rotary exacto knives. Have you all seen those? We've been talking about, we're, we're interested in that just for various, I think it would be helpful to have around. I love the brown by the feathers. Yeah, now see? Yeah, I think that's that all starting is. starting Oh, and to... look, it even picked up the blue. That's oh, wow. That's wonderful. All right, so our feathers are going to go with the witch. I'm very happy about that because I want a little feather coming off the hat. Or I could add the feather because I think I'm going to try to bring in the piece lovely little these boogers. Well, remember, just because they are that color that they are right now they does not mean they, have, I, they may be. Oh, look at that. And I can put the feather off of here, and I can put one on the witch. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I really had intentions for that one. Turn it over. <laughs> what were your intentions with this one? I was going to go on... on um, one of the pages in the in my journal but well, i think i can give it up i can probably make another yeah i can <laughs> we do need it to, does look we, really we really. need to buy some more of these big i love these big paper clips they are awesome they really are because they hold better and they're nicer yeah they're not so tight and hard and and mess and up I your paper look at that <gasps> see and I'll get it nice so it looks good on both sides there. I think I'm gonna just pop that little booger off of there. Thank okay. you. Oh, Cause you, you didn't want the other part. I don't think so. I mean, oh, look at that. And I'm gonna trim it. Well, too bad we hadn't thought about that because we could sandwich it. Oh, well, you've left a little lip there. I have. I might just be able to. Tuck and you that might down be able to pull that apart too. All right. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. This is pretty much how like every evening goes around here. <laughs> yes, I, I sit on my side over there, and she says, "Okay, mom, look at this." Here, right, look. Olaf, I think, adjustable rotary cutter yes. circle. Yes. That thing. A variation of an old school math compass. Works really well and uses rotary blades, which are replaceable. Absolutely. Well, I wish you would have lived. I have got. I'll tell you what, Julie. More. Those big paper clips, and they're like super cheap. Yeah. Um. Look, I did. And they come in white, black, yeah, gold, two colors of gold. The link that I, I um, I left on one of the videos. I don't know if it's still there, but um. I'll come back and add it if need be, but uh, is okay. It, it was op there. There were options of color, and that's the reason I chose that one. These actually came from Tuesday morning, um, in little packets that we probably still paid way too much for after seeing what I found on Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna stuff that in there. I was just trying to get that worked out. Needs me some glue. Okay. I'm waiting for this stuff to dry. Um, Jewel. <laughs> oh. Yes, the circle gel plate. It's the little. Um, Do you have Andy? You want to pull it out? Um, I, I can. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> I mean, you do have visually something going on there. Yes.
All right. I think I got this going. I need the pokey tool that he had earlier. Well, that'll work. Oh, I don't know if I put no, it back on. No, that's fine. Though. I got one. You got it? We have multiple pokey tools. Now, is it handy for you to switch the, the small yeah, screen I, over here? I can. Because I, I really want to show, I'm, I'm so proud of my little storage system here. There you go. Okay, so you in a kit, in a kit, you know, in a little package, you get a triangle, which I've cut apart because I this big triangle never worked for anything. I wanted a smaller one, so I cut it off, and then I've got this little base, which I did a really cool print using that. These pieces and parts are all from the 12 inch, leftover parts from the 12 inch <laughs> dissection, yes. 12 inch gel plate. And I really like these because if you can see on the little ones, they're not nearly as thick. And they don't, I don't think that they print as well. I have trouble with the circle all the time. Mm. It's just, um, I don't know. There, there's something to be said about the thickness there. But that's how we got the circles. And I should show these at the same time. Gosh, we're really yeah. falling down on our, our whole. Yeah. Because I went ahead and made impression plates so that, because I didn't know whether I wanted to use the positives or the, you know, kind of ghost print type thing that you get with the, but look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, Fran wants to know what made the dark moon. Oh, sweetie. She, she loves, you know, that's so like a Fran thing. It's kind of mappy looking. I mean, she's all about that. <laughs> and what, what, what it is, is it's leftovers from Prussian blue. Well, the leftover is the shiny stuff on there that was from another print that I was trying to pull, probably. Have no idea, really. I'm sure there's some Prussian blue on there. Yeah. And then I think it was probably... I, I'm pretty sure there's some of my mixture of the... It's supposed to be Titan Buff to pull it. Oh! And it may be pulled with Prussian blue. I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 as close as I can get. But you can see here, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Can you see it? Yes. A lot of these didn't come out. And it was probably as much, you know, when you're doing these impression plate prints, it's your paint is really important. And here uh, Why is that? Because you want paint that is very finely textured and you know how some of them bead out you don't want that for this and see look at the difference here this is actually and I can tell you because I only have it is uh, magenta and then here's Frank again on a brayer off here's the witch with the wonky eye I kind of like her Hey, you should speak up. You people that won the prize today, if you want some of these. And she'll toss them I'll in. I'll toss them in. <laughs> Here's her scientist. There, look at that. On a brayer off. Oh, my goodness. That is so wonderful. Oh. Oh, and we're still kind of damp over here. we got about 15 minutes. But I believe that this is a very, very good start to our scroll situation. And I, I think she needs to find some blue feathers for the back side so that she can have <sighs> I might have some option. somewhere. Or we can make some blue. We can put some blue. Yeah, some I, I think we should try to do something with these other ones to see about that. Oh, wonky-eyed witch. Okay, I've already gone through those. Okay. So, um, what is what is next on our scroll here? I can probably glue her together even though it is um see that's not a good one <laughs> i went to the square it didn't get any better i had a terrible time getting the devil i don't know he was <laughs> quite the little devil yep here's frank and i like that one and here's another pink kitty here's kind of a oh she likes uh and like the the scientist on the multicolor print Oh, <laughs> Leslie wants some. 
Okay, okay Leslie. Leslie what, what, where did that bugger go? We will definitely send you some in the pack. I'll write Anne's name on it as soon as I find it. Oh, here she is. All right, I got that's got your name on it. Oh, here. You know what? And look, I have a card. <laughs> Izzy made for Anne. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going Anne's pile. Okay. We'll put that in your pile. Anne. Well, I mean, she stickered that bugger up. Yes, yeah, she did. Stickered that bugger up. Okay, Leslie likes pink. I bet she wants the cat. And I'll give you sort of a pink devil there. I think that's kind of fun. <laughs> Lisa, we have, a, we have a few. Lisa would also like a scientist. She would like a scientist. Okay. I even have, you know, I might have some extras over in my pile of, because I have multiples. Oh, here, this is a good one. Oh, there you go. Now, who is this going to? Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, she's a good one. Anybody want the, pur the one-eyed purple witch? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not sure what happened there, but isn't it great? I just oh, love it. Oh, she's pretty. It's kind of a double exposure okay I've got piles going over here this is really cool because I can be doing this well here's a green witch oh and here's a mad scientist he guy the he guy yeah well I'm not on the thing right now oh you're not no I've got sort of a, a interesting pumpkin there just really disappointed in all my devils and here's a froggy green witch in the impression. Oh, that look at those two together. That'd be kind of fun to put them back to back. Okay, read the thing. Is anybody? Um. Oh, she likes the Frank. Uh, Leslie likes the Frankenstein. She likes Judy the... P. Likes Mr. Mauser. I'm, I'm assuming that's our our scientist guy. <laughs> he reminds me of my dad. Who is this? Judy P. Now we're gonna Judy, We're gonna throw some things Judy's way. She did get the spin twice. <laughs> She, she did, and besides that, she provided the cover for. That's right. Here's my next. Isn't oh. there a song about a one-eyed witch? I think that's a one-eyed purple people eater. Oh, but look, she's purple. <laughs> she ate the one-eyed purple people eater. <laughs> she put him she in a toad. She put him, in him a... into a toad. <laughs> <laughs> but here's, here's the Unbound book that has... Mini here. Oh, this is one of this is one of Izzy's stencils. Star. Yes. She's very much into that right now. Yes. But um, she, at least likes the witches. She likes the witches. All right. Do you get the green witches? Oh no, I put those in Judy's. Where's Lisa? Yeah, the one eye flying purple people eater. There we go. It's a one-eyed, one-something. One horn. Horn. There we go. Purple people leader. Uh -huh. That's what we need. We, we do want to make another set because we want some spiders and bats. Yes. And vampire. Vampire. Maybe a mummy. Still kind of working out yeah. how that might be interesting. But you can see these impression plates and I think partially some of the ones that are really um, have high loft worked better than the others. And I think that that was part of my problem with the devil. Yeah, so we had to open up the lines a lot on the on the devil because he just well, I shrunk him down, so you lose the width of the line. Was it Judy or Lisa that liked the pumpkin? Um, I don't know who liked the pumpkin. Somebody said they wanted the pumpkin. Well, it's going to Lisa's pile until further notice. All right. Yeah, Izzy is great getting exposure. <laughs> well, she's a big part of what goes on around here. <laughs> yeah, and it isn't always good. All right, so this is, are you going to come sit back over here oh, for yeah, a second? Oh, yeah, I am. And then we can kind of probably. Hey, y'all, this is this is like a momentous event here because we, we didn't do any gel printing at all today. Although there were plenty of gel prints being used for all sorts of things. Um. Here's the little thing, and it looks so good with our witchy poo here. Kind of looks like a rabbit when you put it down there like that. Yeah. 
Um, this I think is, it needs a third feather. I really want this to be on the side. So one of the things that would have been really great, but it just seems that even on the kitty one, <laughs> that we did the stenciling the way that the pockets, but I don't know if we're going to use them. But if you wanted to use them, you definitely want to keep in mind, like, having the pocket available to put something in and not have it upside down. Yes. <laughs> would be. And, and that's happened twice now. Yeah. Um, I kind of like... I may end up splicing these together because I really love the broken lot of section there and I like how this might end up with the the witch this, on the end yeah kind of in there what do you think or is it better uh, that actually might Judy be. likes she says your clip is beautiful mm, well it's really technically your clip I just More put some feathers on thumbs yes <sighs> but it does kind of look like a little I rabbit. love that weird one under the pink cat Oh, I have to go back and look at that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, I'll, I, I will, yes. Turquoisey glue. Ooh. All right, so I think what I'm going to do glue. to keep my, I, I want to keep it all to the same number of, because I want them to be the same length, right? I well, mean, I, I would think so. I don't think matters. it necessarily matters. And I am not going to put magnets in all of them. Because, again, it didn't really do anything. And I may even be able to come back and add them in later. Boy, those look cool together, though. I think they do. And then what we'll do is we're going to... Um, and we'll have this done by next week or whenever. Um, throughout the week, I'll post pictures or something. But we'll do the little tube that goes with her. I'm thinking we're going to do it in something blue, right? All right. Thanks, Robin, for doing that. So that matches up. That's going to be wonderful. Oh, look, see, because <laughs> the magnet. <laughs> stuck. That's great. Um, <laughs> well, the other plus is about this. But we'll use the, the paper clip to hold the end piece. Yes, and I think that that's, that's, we need to make one with the bigger paper clip for the kitty, the cat. Okay. You don't think that the one that you don't like the little one with it? Well, I, I do, but I just think that it's you're going to be a lot happier with that fatter paper clip with your fatter. By the time you've got that covered tube and all of that fabric around there, <laughs> it looks like a witch belt. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna end up doing is taking this piece down here and applying it down there. So then this will end up like this. Me thinks. I, I I really oh I see what you're saying. So this is gonna come off. Cause I need one, two, three there. I'm gonna leave a little there. So let's just get her done here. It's not it's just paper. Yeah. And I sorta like that piece there, but really what I wanna do is you know I love some tearing things. And actually this is a wee bit easier since it is still sort of drawing. And then I want to lock those in like that. And there we go. Same length. And the nice thing about the stencil over the tea bags is so where they're perforated. Now this one's like tripled up because we thought we had the thought afterwards and I'd already sprayed it. So this one's pretty strong because I've offset. You can see the little there's the perforation for the back side. Ah, a so there. you are reinforcing it in exactly. case it wanted to come apart. But they don't seem to come apart terribly no. easily. No, like you, you've got to you've got to give it some pull. A tug. Yeah. So no worries there on its fragility. Yes, <laughs> commonly used products. I'm pretty sure we have the stencil butters listed there. I'm pretty sure that that is true. And then I need to go back and add some like the paper clips. And I don't know if the paper clips are in there yet. And I'm very sad. They still have the mixed media paper listed and it is listed at that price, but it is out of stock. The black mixed media paper. And we really do think that that was a mismark. So it's going to be item. interesting once it comes back in stock if it still sits at that price. It will be very interesting. So there we go. I think 
we'll continue working on this this afternoon and and like i said as i get things done i will probably post some progress pictures and then we have one more stream i think before we do the final we'll just do a big flip through and maybe i have the box ready at that point if you know fingers crossed all goes well we get all the characters done all their tubes and such so let's um oops there we go that's the one i'm looking for so ah, hi okay <laughs> let's go back in here that's what we're gonna do continuing that's on the plan. with building out the little scroll thingies and then we're gonna put cool little other little elements in there look at my hands <laughs> so, that's the black oh, spray. Well, we got the, the stampers out for Izzy the other night. We looked over there. Neither one of us were paying any attention. <laughs> she was her hands are completely archival covered. black. Yes. And she knows that she's not supposed to have the permanent. She will ask, is this the permanent? <laughs> I think really she's just storing that information for when she wants to get real, you know. Uh, we had it. to soak her. Yeah. It was kind of a frightening situation because <laughs> she was covered in it. Yeah. Anyway. All right, um, throughout the week, if you are watching this replay, we hang out in the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. Okay. If you'd like to join, please do answer the questions. We do not let you in unless you answer the questions. I will see that you get a pumpkin, Leslie. Um, we will be sending out the giveaway things. And I think, um, make sure, I'm gonna reach out to all, all of you guys just to make sure that yes, you want the characters or if you want a different stencil or however you wanna work that, we can totally do that. And then um, probably the next couple weeks, we're gonna have some other giveaways. So keep coming back, hanging out with us. If you're watching the replay, make sure you show up yep. and hang out in the chat because that's when we give away things. Um, that, that's gonna be my main thing, I think, with any of our giveaways. Uh, we really wanna reward you guys that yes. come and hang out with us because you know your time is valuable too. So we appreciate that. And we do very recognize much. that. So, um, that's all of that. We will continue on with the scrolls. Thank you guys for everything. We love hanging out with you. It makes our Sunday so much fun. And it does. <laughs> happy birthday to Sharon's husband. Oh, <laughs> there we yes. go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And then we will uh, see you next week or see you and in the Thank makers. you. Thank you, Fran. <laughs> Bye. Bye.